Yeah, th this Roy definitely can move. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm expecting some crazy stuff from this Pichu. Yeah. I, I've, I've always thought that, you know, players who you don't know always come with the craziest options. Yeah. Oh, we got loops. Quick 42. Paul it up. <laughs> that's, that's who this is. This is Paul it up. Yeah. Oh, Paul it up. Oh, man. Nice. Let's Paul it up, baby. <laughs> Paul it with a quick stock lead. 18%. Ooh, left it. He's got to do more than that. He's, he's yeah. got to find his way to. I mean, it's Pichu. He could kill early. Yeah. But you still need to get the percent. And Pichu definitely just... one of the lightest characters in the game too. So you can definitely have some things against Pichu. But he mainly eleven has a four cut out from his pull it up. Already took the first stock, but he's yet to touch left in. But as I say that, he gets that forward and he really starts to grab. That's the thing. Once Pichu gets in, he can get so much percent. It, yeah. It, it, you know, it doesn't take much. It takes one opening. Not only that, pull up should be using a little bit of thunder gel to find some spacing as well. Okay. It's got face, tries to get the grab and yeah. see the recovery, but he's not able to find it. Good thought, but a little bit off in the positioning. Yeah. Back around the shield. Drag down into the back throw. Haul it up, looking to replicate something from stock one. Leffen just, there you go. Leffen gets the forward tilt. 86% on him. I mean, again, this is Pichu, but he can just die right now. Yeah. As he nearly piled up looking for that forward smash. He does have left in a high percent. He goes for another opportunity here, but he missed that opportunity yet again. Follow it up. Follow it up. Oh, that's back and that's smash. It. Okay, follow it up. Follow it up looking good. Yeah. He's got two stocks over left, man. I'm telling you, if Sweet Tea could take out DD as a, as a game five, follow it possibly has an opportunity here, but that's double edge dance right there. Able to go for it. He sees that forward smash. Leffen is really close to just evening this right up, though. Rolls out of that grab. Oh, there it is. All right, Leffen, what can you do? Pull it up. Uh, he had so much momentum. Yeah. Leffen trying to ice him right now. Well, that's one of those things that Paul up was making the mistake, right? If you have the lead, your opponent's going to be approaching you. I wanted to see Paul up stand back a little bit, use the Thunder Jolt, find a way to punish Leffen with a lead in here. But now he's the one that's going towards Leffen, and Leffen is getting all these whip punishes. Yeah, man, that Thunder Joe only does 5% to Pichu. It's really not that bad. Yeah. It does about 9 or so. Yeah, actually, oh, I like that. Paul left in front of space. Nice. Air, dodge, air dodge. It's red face. I like it. He nearly tries to go for a down air. His tail hit a back air. And oh! Oh, it's so close with the get-up attack coming through. All right, man. Leffen. He's got he's to get back. If he can get, okay, he's got advantage. Now that he's got advantage, oh, he can get that back air, yeah. and he can take that stock. Good stuff to Leffen, not getting phased by that first stock. Oh, my goodness. Call it up. He had, he had so much going for him. Yeah, he did. He did. He had the spike. He was up in the lead. But that's the thing, right? You need to understand my your lead, right? If you have a lead, your opponent's going to be coming hard towards you, and that's what we kind of saw from Leffen. He was making the approaches. The problem was that Paul up was also making the approaches. He had to stand back, like I said. Thunder Jones a pretty good move, only does 0.4% to yourself, and you get that spacing, you yeah, can man. definitely start looking to find scope, scope options in this left hand. The, the struggle can be that Roy is very fast. He can, yeah. get, he can get underneath you and stuff like that, but you just got to do it at those safe spacing. So exactly. Paul It Up has got to dissect what happened in game one that went so well for me. How do I convert that into a win in game two? Right off the bat, man. Paul It Up with good advantage. I don't know why he's looking for the yes match right there, though. Not going to kill just yet. Couple up tilts, nice. Looking for a pop from through, but left and last was strong down air into the up air. Goes for the double edge stance, immediately pushing the edge guard face into his favor, but he misses that forward air. Oh, he has a jump though. Paul it up, looking for the down air again. What's I, le what Leffen's doing is he's mixing up his get up timings because Paul it up is looking for those S matches yeah. on the ledge. And so if, if he, Paul it up is expecting him to do the quick get up, and Leffen now is delaying that. So we'll see if Paul it up can make the adjustments and not oh. get hit by a back air right there, Leffen. He's got the lead for the first time, really, in this set. Yeah. Double edge dance, able to poke through the shield here. Gets the down air, pull it up, nearly looking for the space, and he reads the landing here. Good punish, and sets up that force out the ledge, but it's not going to be able to work out so well for him. Down smash will take the stock left and dying off the top. 51% on pull it up. Pull it up, he's got to find a way back to yeah. the stage. And once he, again, once he can get that in, He's going to be good to go. He's going to get about 40% or so, but Leffen is just doing a really good job of doing safe things on his shield, not letting him do anything out of shield that would otherwise threaten him. All right, solid combo to follow it up. Immediately turns it up. 
Half of the percent, literally almost even the left, and still after the chase. Nice back out of shield. That's one thing the left needs to be looking out for, right? A lot of players' habits that we talk about off stream, right? They love those near out of shield options, those back out right. of shield options. Yeah, ju jumping out of shield is just so strong. Everyone's yeah. got that three frame or so jump squat, right? Yeah. So, oh, dash back, F smash. Follow it up. He's got nice. the advantage. Still got the jump. Great that Thunder Jolt was almost exactly what he needed. Yeah. It was so close, but just a tear off. Dash attack though. Immediately left and takes the stock. Oh, oh, my goodness. Somehow, some way, <laughs> left <and> survives. <laughs> the man was blessed. Yeah. Good opportunity, just ducking down into the rope. Oh, look at that forward tilt. Yeah, Almost, oh, the very, but very, he no punish, yeah. A little, little delayed on that. Nice attack at the side B, but not able to find it. Follow up with another forward tilt. He's looking for the stock and stuff. Oh, and that that'll do jump. it. He does not need to go out there. Yeah. Call it up 43%. I mean, we've seen the damage that Pichu can do. He's yeah. just got to find his ins, and then, you know, as long as he doesn't get hit by a strong move, he'll be okay. But we also seen the punishes that Lefty can do as well, right? He knows Pichu's close to me enough. I get that down tilt. I get that edge guard. And I start putting Paul up in a difficult situation. Almost gets that, that neutral lead. Oh, my goodness. Lefty running away with this one, though. Call it up. He's just found no ground. Yeah. Up to opportunity there, that shield was looking mighty small, but immediately gets the whip punish. Sees the forward there, all it up looking for an opportunity here. I, I don't see the Thunder Jolts, so that's the problem that we're not seeing, right? Well, I think right now, Leffen is just all over all of his options with this finish. Yeah. He just hasn't really been able to find something that'll get him out, and that F tilt is going to seal this set out. Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. We're There's playing rock, paper, scissors again. Good stuff to Leffen 2 0. Paul it up looked really, really strong in that game one, but